when you see ads from drug companies, all it means is one thing. The drug prices are going to be coming down 50, 60, 70 percent, and they never thought anybody would do that. I also signed a rebate clause. So the rebate money, instead of going to the middlemen, who among the, the richest men in this country, and men and women, I guess, uh, in this country by far, the middleman. The middleman makes more money than the uh, people that produce. At least the drug companies produce something. But I signed where the rebate goes to the people. There's never been anything like this. And as a non-politician, I could do it. And I will tell you, I was called by a lot of politicians that I was surprised at, literally begging me not to do it. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. And because, you know, the uh, big pharma is by far the number one lobbyist paying group in the country. And people are loyal to big pharma. And I'm all for big pharma. But uh, this is a tremendous uh, — this will be a tremendous drop. So between — between transparency and what I just did with respect to favored nations, that means if Germany pays 10 cents and we're paying $2.50, we go down to 10 cents. That's a number that nobody's even thought of. And what will happen is they'll have to pay more and we're going to have to pay much, much less. Like, numbers — and it could be 70, 80 percent, so we're not talking about games. And nobody had the courage to sign it. A lot of people didn't even know about it. A lot of people. So I appreciate very much you saying. But — and it may be that transparency is even more important than that. I think it is, because transparency is the basis for markets, and that's the basis yeah. also for trust. Right now, you can't — you don't have the right to know what something costs before you buy it. If airlines follow the same model as hospitals and insurers do, you wouldn't know the price of your airline ticket right. until after you land it, because they don't know how full the flight's going to be. They don't know how much gas they're going to have, fuel they're going to have to spend. So, but every other business manages to do their average pricing. Hospitals know their average prices. That's how they sell so quickly when there's somebody buying a hospital. Right. They're just not sharing. It's so great. That, it's so day. great. Hey, let's see, voters. Oh, well, that's interesting. See, so you're, you're just. Jimmy, no, you this is very. <laughs> no, but can I tell you that? No, I think it's great that you're doing. We're talking about something that you know a lot about. And it does pretend, it does really uh, pretend to exactly what you're doing. I think it's true. You know, we did uh, one other thing that is so important. Pharmacies, they didn't have to give any information. You go in for a pill, and the pharmacy gives you this crazy price, and you can't price it, you can't go around, you can't do anything. I, I ended that practice. I said, what do you mean, you can't negotiate? You didn't even have the right to negotiate. I ended that and was met with a hail of storm. Everything I do, I get met with a hail of storm. But you know what? I do the right thing. I do the right thing for the 